Yo, what's poppin' with y'all, man? Um, welcome to a new video on the channel, I guess I should say, because um, this is a new, you know, format or type of video, I guess I should say. I haven't really done anything like this before, but I've been meaning to get into it, you know, because I feel like I sometimes have a lot of things uh, to say about, like, I guess I should say recent events, and today I just wanted to talk about um, the whole Gorilla Glue situation, which I'm sure you guys have probably already heard about. Um, it's nothing new. It's been like all over the news. So I guess I should start by giving you guys the backstory on the whole Gorilla Glue situation because I know you guys have seen the video. It's been everywhere, but I don't think too many people have really read too much into it and they don't know too much about it. Um, so I found this article from the New York Times. I think they did a, a very good job. Um, they actually ended up talking to the woman and it says... While rushing to get ready about a month ago, Ms. Brown realized she had run out of her usual hairspray, got to be glued. Scrambling, she spotted a bottle of Gorilla Spray Adhesive, a permanent spray made by Gorilla Glue. She thought that by the time she got home that night, she would be able to wash it out. A month later, it still hadn't budged. Okay, so from reading that, I'm guessing that the reason why this woman thought that it was an okay thing to put Gorilla spray adhesive in her hair was because her normal spray that she used was called got to be glued so i'm guessing she came to the conclusion that since they both have the word glue on them that it would be a good idea to use the gorilla glue spray adhesive like dude come on bro like how the fuck do you even do that man like how bruv i'm sure it says somewhere in the label bruv like what it's used for and i'm sure hair isn't one of those things that's listed on there like that's fucking ridiculous finally more than a month after her mishap miss brown had the glue removed from her hair thanks to a los angeles plastic surgeon who spent hours on wednesday using a homemade solvent to get the job done it went from scary to terrifying to pretty much being tortured miss brown 40 said in an interview on thursday and at this point a big relief miss brown who runs a daycare and a dance team the dazzling divas in violet louisiana said that if she could go back to the day it all began she would have worn a hat instead okay can i just start off by saying huh wait hold on, hold on a second bro 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 hold on if this hold on if she's really 40 bro that's a surprise to me because to be honest watching the video i honestly thought she was like like 25 or like 27 or some shit like that to be honest if she really is 40 she look good for age i, I like i can't even lie to y'all yo like i don't know if she got like a filter on or some shit but she does not look 40 i think we can all agree on that but anyways bro the bitch is 40 what how the fuck are you 40 and out here doing dumb shit like this, bruv? Like, bro, I kid you not. I swear there are like eight, seven, nine-year-olds out here that probably wouldn't be dumb enough to do some shit like this. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, they're not even fully developed. And they would probably still know that that's a fucking bad idea to put Gorilla Glue in your hair. And, you know, if there were, you know, say eight seven or nine or whatever it'd be an acceptable thing for this to happen you know you, you know you could get it mixed up it's very easy for a child to get mixed up with some shit like this you know that's something you can definitely see that as being something that could happen you know you definitely could see yourself reading something in the news about some child doing something that they're not supposed to because they don't know any better bro this bitch is 40 dog this bitch is 40 bro she could she could legally drink by the time the Twin Towers were still up, bro. I don't know if that's a fucked up thing to say, bro. But she could drink in 2001. And 20 years later, bro. 20 years later, she's out here putting Gorilla Glue in her hair. Please, somebody make it make sense. I don't get it. How, how you dude you're 40 you expect somebody to be uh, that's 40 to know what they're doing you know you don't you expect them to have their life together at that point they're already being called old you know what I'm saying like they've seen a lot like can i just say that when an athlete you know gets to 40 
when an athlete turns 40, they're actively being pushed by like almost everybody to retire. You know, they're telling them that he's old, he's washed up, this and that. You know what I'm saying? Like athletes, when they hit 40, most of them will have retired or are on their way to retirement. You know what I'm saying? Because everybody knows that they're past their prime. They know they're past their prime. They're not going to be moving as fast as they once did and, and this and that. You know what I'm saying? They're definitely past their prime. They're literally getting called old. And you have 40-year-olds like this, man out here doing dumb shit like this like i just honestly can't comprehend that i don't understand how this is something that could actually happen like i know that she technically you know i can give her the benefit of the doubt because she did leave in a hurry i can understand how people you know when they work you know stressful jobs and this and that and they got to be somewhere on time like it's very strict maybe she has a very strict boss and she needs to be somewhere on time i'd say you know honestly just wear a hat that day you know what i'm saying it's it's winter time you could definitely play it off as wearing a hat and honestly who cares who cares if your hair is a, a, a little bit messy by the time that you, that you pull up you know what i'm saying like honestly who cares it's better than just picking up some random spray that you see on the floor and fucking just putting that shit all over your head like you don't even know what like i don't think she honestly like second guessed herself i don't think she read any labels i don't think she saw anything but the word glue and i guess she in her head was like oh this says glue my old spray used to say glue it works like what like bruv you, like fem how bruv i like i can't no that's not excusable okay i don't care in how much of a rush you are okay you're not just out here gonna be putting shit in your hair that could definitely damage the fuck out of it in fact i think she got lucky because in the article it mentions that you know she didn't suffer too much damage to her scalp except for like a little bit of irritation but she's so lucky like what else could she have picked up you know so she could have picked up some fucking cockroach killer venom like she literally just picked up any spray that she saw and she saw the word glue and was like oh, okay yeah this is a good idea this is this is what i'm gonna put in my hair because i'm in a rush like bro and the worst part about it all is that we're not even just talking about like a 40 year old like crackhead you know what i'm saying we're not just talking about some like crackhead that's out here in the streets you know what i'm saying like doesn't even own a house you know very unsuccessful uh we're talking about a relatively successful woman here we're talking about a 40 year old that owns a daycare and a dance club i said that, that those are some very decent i don't know accolades i guess i should say like you're somebody who should definitely know what the fuck you're doing if you're out here owning shit you're out here owning daycares and day teams and all and fucking not not day teams fucking dance teams and shit like bruv how are you i like i don't get it it, it must have been the pressure. She must have been under some insane pressure. But still, I just don't think that that excuses putting fucking Gorilla Glue spray adhesive on your head. I just, bro, I just think that, that any 40-year-old would have the awareness and knowledge to just not do this shit under any circumstance whatsoever. Like, and ladies and gentlemen, believe it or not, but that is not all. We actually have a new case of another fucking idiot doing some shit with Gorilla Glue. And this time it's even worse, bruv. This man, like, got his lips glued together with Gorilla Glue. L l bro, I just need to show you guys this video. Like, this shit was actually, like, irking me earlier. Like, how dumb, bro. And all of these people are adults. These people are, like, bare adults. They're, like... They're like old. You could literally call them old, and they're out here doing shit like this. Like, look. Like that shit ain't true. I'm gonna show y'all something. I got some gorilla glue right here. Super glue, real. Why so? I'm gonna take it, put it on this cup, put it in my mouth. Then I'm gonna be the liquid and get it off. It's easy. Gorilla glue, garbage. Tell you now. Why so? Put it on here. Oh my god, yo, what the fuck, How, what do I even have to say about this? Like, th this person is clearly just doing this shit for clout, like, like, clearly, this person is just doing this shit for clout, you know what I'm saying, they're just trying to get some media attention, and it's like, this is the worst type of thing to do, a lot of people like doing this shit, like, they see some, like, new trend or something new happen, especially if it's a bad idea, like, if it's gone, like, viral, 
a lot of times it tends to be things that have gone viral for like the wrong reasons like for stupidity reasons somehow like for some reason people feel like it's a good idea to replicate that and think that that's gonna like give them some sort of good clout or some shit like i don't i don't know what people are expecting from this like this person got famous for doing some dumb shit like some like s extremely stupid type shit that nobody of that age should ever do you know and you're out here replicating it for for what reason exactly like i don't get it like there's no way that you're in some kind of like mind space where you think that this is an okay thing to do like this person definitely just did this for clout and it's it's just not worth it you know it's not worth it we're not gonna turn this shit into a trend okay this this is not this is not gonna become a trend okay we cannot allow this shit to be some kind of channel we're not gonna have people out here going to the er you know what i'm saying like for for using gorilla glue spray adhesives whatever fucking whatever products gorilla glue has on the fucking shelf we're not just gonna have people out here grabbing all of them shits like fucking bath bombing themselves with gorilla glue fucking just spraying all that shit all over their fucking face their tacos whatever like bro somebody's gonna end up dying over this shit okay like if people aren't careful shit is about to hit the fan okay like this cannot be a trend like we gotta no no you gotta cut this shit off bro like this this is lame as fuck no and honestly, with that, I honestly don't know what else to say. I mean, this is just downright stupidity. And it actually turns out that Gorilla Glue themselves, like the company, I'm pretty sure they ended up like tweeting it or something. I didn't actually see it myself. Uh, I heard about it. I think they ended up tweeting like an apology or something to the original woman uh, who put uh, the spray adhesive in her hair. Um, I just, I, I don't, I don't get that. Like, I know they have to do it for like PR reasons and shit like that, but you shouldn't be apologizing over some shit like this like all that that woman did was really prove that your product works you know what i'm saying like that's some like crazy advertisement type shit you know what i'm saying like if that was an advertisement i'd believe it you know what i'm saying like it's proving that the product works like her hair hasn't didn't move in a whole fucking month no matter what she did to it her hair didn't move a, a fucking inch you know what i'm saying she looks like like a cartoon character her hair looks like it's drawn on i, I don't even know man and like they shouldn't make like, there's nothing that they should apologize for, okay? Gorilla Glue did nothing wrong in this situation, okay? And the woman says that people... She hopes that people can learn from her decisions to not do this shit. Lady, I don't... I I don't know if anybody's told you this, but I don't think anybody in their right mind, you know what I'm saying? I don't think anybody who's got... Who, who can think properly for themselves, you know what I'm saying? I don't think anybody who has a conscience that is of age, you know what I'm saying? That it's not like a, like a, like a toddler... Or like, or like a little fucking child. I don't think anybody who who isn't any of those demographics would have a, a problem like this. I don't think anybody would need to be taught not to do this shit. Like, I mean, I don't know if that's just me or something. But you, you, you just think that it's common sense, you know? Like, this shit... You, you just... What, whatever happened to common sense? I don't think people have common sense nowadays. Like, I don't think common sense really is that common nowadays. I, I don't even know, man. I don't know what else to say, man. I guess I'm gonna just end it right there, man. Um, just don't be this stupid, I guess. It's the takeaway from this video is just don't do dumb shit like this. And definitely don't replicate it, you know, for clout reasons, thinking that you're gonna get anything good from that. Like, you're only gonna get people hating on you, okay? You're, you're gonna get fucking death threats or some shit. Like, you're not gonna get anything good from this don't be like these people I, I think everybody from the jump you know we, we didn't need to see this video to know that this is a bad idea but in case there is somebody out there that needs to be told okay don't, don't do this shit, okay it's a bad idea and i'm gonna end it right there man um if you made it through to the end i mean i don't know what to say like thank you yeah, that means a lot um this is my first video uh like doing this shit. so you know if it's a little you know a little rusty, you know what I'm saying? A little, a little, you know what I'm saying? A little some, some like, if it's a, a little bad, you know, a little, a little choppy, you know, my maybe my my vocal skills ain't up there yet. Uh, bear with me, I guess. Um, I'm definitely gonna try to get better, you know, uh, as time goes on, and I continue to hopefully make these videos. I, I definitely do plan on doing that, you know. Usually, I have a little bit of spare time here and there, and. I'm going to try to use that time to, you know, do this shit. You know, it does take a little bit 
to edit these videos because I mean obviously I'm editing I'm editing blah, blah, I can't even fucking talk I'm editing them myself so it does take a little while but you know it's stuff I, I enjoy it I gotta say I do enjoy it so um if you did enjoy please do leave a like and subscribe uh I'm trying to hit uh 100 subscribers I have 79 right now I believe last time I checked that's what I had uh and definitely gonna try to in the long run hit a thousand you know that's like the creator program you know that's like those are like the creator program people you know what i'm saying i'm trying to be on there you know what i'm saying like that's when you start getting paid you know what i'm saying but you know in the meantime i really do just you know want to start doing videos like this it's a good way to pass the time i guess and just kind of share my opinion on things um but yeah anyways guys uh that was it um peace out See you in the next video.